minion meme. Yeah. Like, can do anything? Okay, they could do anything. What other words might the minion mean? Uh, walking outside? No. Um, yeah. Um, freedom around. Okay, yeah. So, they were rulers of the land, and they could do anything if they wanted to. They had free will, so they could make good choices or bad choices. But, with having dominion over the Garden of Eden, did come a responsibility, okay? So, with that being said, do we want to eat a resource or benefit? There's all sorts of kinds. Come on, guys. What, what, can, what does our dog do for us? What does our cat do for us? They probably make us happy. Be our friend. All right, hold on, hold on. Yes, sir? They probably, they probably does provide us comfort. Comfort, yeah. Jeez. Sophia? Oh, um, they, um, he goes, I give them attention and they love us back. Yeah, so we give them attention, they love us back, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Come on, guys. What else? What else? These are pretty easy. but they do have different colors, okay? Now, raise your hand. Who do they get their different colors from? Raise your hands. Raising our hands. Raising our hands. Yes, ma'am. Their parents. Their parents, right? Both their mom and their dad. Now, there's a certain word for the things that you get, they get passed down from your parents that you get. What, what is the name for that? Yes, ma'am. Jeans. Jeans is a good word. There's another word for it, though. Yeah. Inherited traits. Inherited traits. Very good. Everyone say inherited traits. Inherited traits. So, is this sheep right here? Everyone say hi to Sydney. Hi, Sydney. And Mr. Bruce. We call him Bruce. Everyone say hi to Bruce. Bruce. He's on the right over there. Now, did anybody see how Mr. Willie was standing on that wall right there? Yes. Okay. He likes to balance on things. Have you ever heard of a mountain goat before? Yes. Yeah. You think they're pretty good at balancing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right? Now, letting you know, every single goat, when they're born, within like a couple of minutes, they're up, they're up walking, they're jumping on things and balancing. So every single goat is good at balancing. So what kind of trait is balancing for a goat? A universal No, she got it right. One more time. I need everyone to answer. Inherited. If every single goat is good at balancing, it's an inherited trait. They're just born that way, okay? 
Now, you see this big metal bucket with water? What do you think they use that for? Drinking. drinking water, right? Very good. Now, when they're born, they know how to drink water, but finding where that specific bucket is is a learned trait. So if we put the bucket up there on the top of the hill, they would have to learn where the water is, okay? So just drinking in general is an inherited trait, but drinking from that specific bucket is a learned trait, all right? He's ready to eat, but we have one more thing to talk about, our chicken. The pecking order, okay? Now, there's one chicken who's the top chicken. She has all of her feathers. She's actually in the front left right here, the black and white striped one. Her name is Cornbread. Everyone say hi, Cornbread. Hi, Cornbread. Now, um, I want you to look past the chickens and then look at that back fence. It's nice new wood, nice new metal. Mr. Richmond and myself had to rebuild the chicken coop over the summer. Before that, we had some fox trying to come in here and eat our chickens, okay? Now, we made a choice and we said, hey, we should probably fix it. But then we didn't just talk about it, we actually acted on that choice. So what do you call making a wise choice about the care of God's creations and acting on it? Stewardship. Stewardship. Very good. Now, they just use their lips and their tongue. They do not use their teeth. Okay? No, Jonah. Yeah. Yeah, Get closer. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try one. I said, I'm going to try one. I I want to stay in the big ones, okay? All these 
little things in between are weeds, okay? They're pretty much taking the nutrients out of the soil that my plants need, so what we want to get rid of, all right? Sometimes you can just grab them with your fingers and you can get the roots, okay? Yeah, you can see the roots there. But sometimes the roots break off and they stay in there. And what's bad about that is it will just regrow. So if you need to, you can use the handbrake to do a little scraping, okay? Then you can get it. If there's any soil left over, I want you to shake it off there. Your hand real quick. I just need to just hold those for me. All right, so I've got two in my hand. I'm just gonna make it just about four inches off from the, the outside of the garden here. Make a little hole. You're gonna put both seeds in the same hole, cover it up, and give it a light tap. Say, I love you, I hope you grow. What are you gonna say? I love you, I hope you grow. Very good. And then when you're done, just stand up right here. And we're gonna say a pr <laughs> Yeah, I wanna make sure, I wanna hear it, guys. I wanna hear it. I love you, I hope you grow. <laughs> I love you, I hope you grow. <laughs> and if you don't. Here you go, ladies. Well, too hey boys, I, I wanna hear it you. correctly. I love you. I hope you grow. <laughs> I love you. I hope you grow. <laughs> Ladies, are you want the seeds? <laughs> I'm like counting my inches. One, two, I love you. I hope you grow. I love you. I hope you grow. <laughs> oh, why is the circuit so hard? I'm gonna do it super deep. I'm gonna put a mountain of dirt on my head. You whispered it right, Izzy. I don't even remember what I did. I did you want. I can't. It'll Dear Lord, thank you again for everything you have provided for us. Please help these plants grow and help us grow in your love every day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be. Pass it out. Pass it out. Pass it out. Pass it out. Amen. Done, John. You forgot the whole thing. You like literally skipped them. Okay, you see it. We shall be to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. I just realized you can't the Yeah, you can touch it. Dark tree. It is a native tree to Texas. You can find them all around Texas, and even somewhere uh, you can find them up in like Oklahoma and stuff as well. So, the bark tree. The different ways to identify this tree, it's called the Osage orange tree. So, if you look at the bark, it has an orange tint to it, all right? So it's orange, the Osage orange tree. The new growth on the Osage orange tree has thorns. So if you find like a new branch, something that has thorns on it, it belongs to the Osage orange tree. Another way to identify it in our woods is this green moss that likes to grow on it. If you look at this uh, branch right over Victor's head, it has this green moss that likes to grow on these trees. It does not like to grow on the oak or pine trees, just the Osage tree, all right? Now, this tree produces a fruit, it's called the Osage Orange, it's about this big, size of a softball. It is lime green, it kind of looks like a brain. If it's the fruit of the tree, what is in it? Orange. <laughs> Seeds, right? Very good. So if you were to drop this softball shaped item on a hill, what would it do? It is. Raise your hand. Poison Ivy. Why do you think it's Poison Ivy? It has three leaves. Oh, it has three leaves. Why else? Very good. It's very scary. So this vine is the, if it's hairy, it's scary. It also has the three leaves that it be, all right? It is springtime, so the leaves are coming out. During the winter, those leaves are not there. So all you would have is the hairy and scary. Also, if you look right here, that's a poison ivy vine as well, okay? Now, that's a very old and well-established poison ivy vine. See how it's a reddish brown color? All right, that's a very live poison ivy vine. It is producing the oil which is what you people are allergic to. Myself, I'm also allergic to the oil that this plant produces, all right? Now, does it look like that vine is hurting that tree? No. No, right, big, strong pine tree. Does it look like that tree is hurting that vine? No. No, right, big, strong poison ivy vine. So they're both living together happily and just doing their own thing. What kind of relationship is that? Starts with an S. 
Not sensitive. <laughs> Starts with an S. Southern part of the United States, all right? So it is a native plant, even though lots of people don't like it and are allergic to it, all right? Again, if you don't know if it's poison ivy or not, just don't touch it, okay? It will not come and get you. It's just a plant, all right? <laughs> No. This is where we're going to do our scavenger hunt, okay? In your books, you don't need them just yet, but I'm going to explain. In your books on page 16 <coughs> is the scavenger hunt, the things that you're looking for. The rules are this. You can go up the creek that way, or you can go up the creek that way, but do not go into the woods on either side, all right? We are out here in the wilderness, in the woods. Snakes are a thing. They've been starting to come out. So you guys need to watch where you're walking and all that stuff. It is kind of cold, so I doubt that we'll see one, but still be paying attention, okay? You guys need to be in a group of two, three, four, five people, doesn't matter. Hey, wait, 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 wait. But you need to be in a group, okay? Uh, body of Jack Black. Oh, I see, Jack Black's a good actor. He's all like, she he is. Oh my god. Where's the place? I've never seen that before. Okay. Let me it's take okay. your picture. <laughs> Uh, oh, she's gonna No, I can see my picture now. Wait, yeah, absolutely. Take a picture. Remember to pull that. Give him the top. Can I hit for yours? 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 Can I <laughs> Touching your arm, draw, go back all the way to your cheek as hard as you can, guys, and fire. Oh, yeah, nice. Time, guys, take your time. Remember, you don't want to touch the air. Let's go back all the way here. I forgot what I said. Oh, that guy from the other one. What the heck is this? No! I touched T-Series. I don't call it T-Series. I'm telling you T-Series. Then this T-Series. 